Hi everyone, um, I'm back. Uh, this is me andering with Juliana and the ABC Murders. Uh, the Agatha Christie crimes, I guess. Uh, anyway, so I just solved the trunk um, thing. Um, we we can now decide where we're gonna go. I think I'm gonna go back into the um, the hall here that we that tea room that we were in a while ago. Um, and we can get into this lovely cabinet. The door was, is locked. That we now have a key for. Yes. Yes, we have a key. We can get into things now. Um, I know I didn't really use it last the time. medical records for Sir Carmichael Clark's patients. Let us study them closely and see if there are any familiar names. Okay. No dust on the records from A to D. They've been handled recently. No known names. Disappointing. All right. No dust on. Okay. No known names. Disappointing. Lots of dust. The records from E to Z have not been touched for years. No mm. known names. Disappointing. But good to know somebody's been playing with them. Um, we can kind of step outside. Uh, we do have a room Order to go to that's and method above all. Let us finish examining <gasps> the mansion while no one is around. Fine. Fine, Hercule Prabro. All right. All right, so we've done that. Um, I think there may be something to do over here. I'm not, like, 100% sure. But... Black Dragon's Curse. To Franklin, who will never grow up. January 25, 1928. Car Charlotte. Hmm. Oh. Whew. Whew. Miss Thoragray, Comside, Tristan, Devon. Arsenic trioxide thallium. Shit. Um, arsenic's never good, by the way, folks. Just, just in case you're wondering. Oh, okay, that was two. Never mind. Um. I mean, small enough doses, it's not gonna kill you, but it's not gonna make life easy by any means. Um, so we have this other room. Okay, all right. Let's see what we got. Um, so there's a big map, and then there's this chest. We're just gonna do the chest because it might be easier. Maybe if we're lucky. Um, a Chinese symbol is engraved on this metal disc. Okay. Um, the position of this character looks right to me. That's it. This character appears to be the right way around. Okay. Like this, this character appears to be the right way around. Okay, so I'm noticing that uh, for each of these squares that they're showing up in, and not arbitrary positions, we've got one on the far right, we've got one on the far left, we've got one sort of right of center and then we're probably gonna have one left of center here um like this so this character appears to be the right way around all right now that we've got that Very good. oh the look circuit. there's a lock um there's a lock so well, well, we can now the characters engraved on this padlock resemble those engraved on the metal discs hey exactly so um that is not the correct character that is um for that one that goes there. Uh, no, think, it's maybe? not. Let me let me check myself. Um. Oh, okay. So I think I have these two switched. Yes, I do. Okay. 
I can get that fixed. Alright, so... Yay! Alright. Cool. Um... At last! The cupboard is open! Cool. Very quick, very simple. Um, I think you guys won't mind if I go past, like, one or two here. The English countryside is back in fashion by English, I don't mean British, but a very specific image of rural England, a patchwork quilt of green fields bordered by hedgerows, a landscape where skylarks sing and wildflowers flourish, uh, a bucolic, idyllic people, uh, a bucolic, idyll, 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 uh, peopled by honest, hardworking farming folk gathered in harvest. Okay. The English countryside revisited, uh, genteel and wild. Genteel and um. wild. English countryside revisited. Alistair Bradford. The railway children in Nesbitt. So this is um, what Franklin said was his favorite book. A family who moved to the uh, Three Chimneys, a house near the railway uh, after the father who worked at the foreign office is imprisoned after being falsely accused of spying the children. Befriended the an old gentleman who regularly takes the 915 train near their home. He is eventually able to help prove their father's innocence and the family is reunited. Uh, the family take care of of a Russian exile, I will not try to pronounce that because I will butcher it. Um, it's a Mr. something, Mr. S, um, who came to England looking for his family, later located, and Jim, the grandson of the old gentleman who suffers a broken leg in a tunnel. Okay, so basically we have every everything. For so. Franklin, on Tefis Christmas, 1910. Hmm. With the previous, uh, as with the previous decades in the 1930s, Hong Kong was a gateway to China, and all international flights terminated at this British outpost. By 1937, the Trans-Pacific flights from North America to China were becoming more regular, with commercial runs from San Francisco through Honolulu, Midway, Wake Islands, and Guam to Hong Kong. Imperial will. Airways also created passengers, carried passengers and mail to into Hong Kong as part of its mail ro route to Australia. Passengers on this line would stop in Pyongyang uh, before disembarking in Hong Kong. Or Pyongyang. Pyongyang. Okay. Interesting. Good to know. Traveling in China, a practical guide for English travelers. A net, flask, and rifles. Franklin is very well equipped. Okay. All right. So, all right. I'm not going to hit that puzzle quite yet. I'm going to go over to a desk and investigate and... July 1920, Alaska Peninsula. So, a bit well traveled, this man. February 1922, South Africa. Huh. Franklin appears to be very active. Franklin Clark appears to be a hmm. typical British gentleman, a good sportsman, a hunter, a traveler. Okay. Uh, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Da, da, da. We've done 
have we done this? I think we have. Darn it. Sorry. Franklin Clark sorry, appears to be sorry. a typical British gentleman. A good sportsman, a hunter, a traveler. All right, looks like we're stuck with the map now. Um, and by stuck with, that it's not a problem really. I'm just saying that's, that's the last thing we have to do in the room, it looks like. Okay. Okay, so maybe it's this. The plates around the picture appear ah. to have unlocked. I think I've already seen these symbols oh, on nice. Franklin's trophies. Oh, it's true. Darn it. Um. I'm guessing like this would be the bear. Oh, or not. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and look these up. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and uh, cut down the time in uh, post for you guys because that's not fair um, to you. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, yes. Uh, yes. I will start again. Um, I'll be back. So we know it's not gonna be. If there's chickens or, or bird-like things, I I haven't seen them. Okay, um, that seems right because that was uh, the lion of Sumatra. Okay, got it. Okay, so um. The African Kudu. Okay. The Alaskan Kodiak Bear. I heard the sound of a mechanism. Great. Strange okay. way of protecting one's safe. Triangulating one's hunting sites on the map. So, uh... What's the number here? That was 15-something, but, uh, I can't remember it. Um... 1587, there we go. Fifteen eighty seven. These documents are yeah. very likely going to help me for the rest of the inquiry. Thank goodness. Oi, Faye. A dozen gold sovereigns, some shares for the Southern Railway, and some treasury bills. This is not worth much. Hardly enough to justify your robbery. Sir Carmichael Clark, Campsite Trust in Devon, to Mr. Franklin Clark, Peninsula Hotel, Sasbury Road, Tsinshasui, Kowloon, Hong Kong. Campside, 1935, January the 12th. Huh. Dear Franklin, first, I wish you a good start to a successful new year. I have received your letter dated December 10th. Thanks for defending my interest against Wang, this robber. Things hmm. could have got pretty bad if you weren't a real good-blooded guy. I envy you for that. Things go on here much as usual. Charlotte is moderately free from pain. I wish one could say more. You may remember Thora Gray. She is a dear girl and a greater comfort to me that I can tell you. I should not have known what to do through this bad time but for her. Hmm. She has an exquisite taste and shares my passion for Chinese art. 
Your daughter could be a closer or more sympathetic companion. Life has been difficult, but I am glad to feel that here she has a home and true affection. Hmm. You wrote me you want to stay in China for one more year or even longer. I don't object. The longer you stay, the more opportunities you will have to increase our collection. Nonetheless, hmm. you should know that we miss you here, and that Charlotte will be gone by the time you come back. I am, dear Franklin, your truly affectionate brother. Huh. Interesting. Um. Charlotte Clark Comside, Churston, Devon, to Mr. Franklin Clark Peninsula Hotel, Salisbury World, Chim Shatsui, Kowloon, Hong Kong, Comside, 1935, January 1st. I wish you with all my heart a happy year 1935. Writing my greeting cards, I have affectionate thoughts for you. Always smiling as a child, sailing to distant countries and bringing back to us trunks full of wonder. At home, everything annoys me. Starting with this young Thora Sir Carmichael is so fond of. I have nobody to share my feelings with, so I write to you. Hmm. How can I tell you what happens to me? The simplest way the better. I am doomed. I still have one year to live, no more. How do I know? I opened the secret drawer of Carmichael and read a letter not addressed to me. In this letter, Dr. Logan tells my husband in the most direct way the truth he conceals from me. Sir, I know. But my husband doesn't know I know. Please don't tell him. And if he shares the truth with you, Act as you are surprised. Carr will probably speak in his usual convoluted way, but I wanted to be the first to announce it to you. It does matter to me that you are aware of what happens in Comside. Warm regards, Charlotte. Okay, so Charlotte called Franklin home, not not his brother. Etton College School Year, 1912-1913, Franklin Clark. <laughs> School report for Franklin Clark. According to his teachers, Franklin was a good student, but lacked discipline. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. I guess there's... okay. There's nothing. Never mind. Sorry. Um, I'm not seeing anything on the desk that is available, or the bookshelf. Alright, I think we've explored everything. I think we can go back and, um, get around a bit, but that is for another time. Um, sorry that took so long. I wasn't expecting a diatribe at the end. So you got another long one. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um. If you like what I'm doing with the meandering, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Uh, do subscribe if you like any and or all of our stuff. Um, let us know in comments what you like, what you don't like. Please be constructive with your criticism. Um, what you do like, we will try to do more of. What you don't like, we will try to do le le less of. If I can speak. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next next video.